Hello everyone, today I thought I'd go over something rather simple. So what we're going to go over today is how to create a landscape road system. All you have to do is create your landscape, sculpt it into how you're wanting it to be, and then go into Manage, right-click your layer, Create, right-click, Reserve for Splines. Yes. So what that's going to do is it's going to make the splines be, so if you keep it above the other layer, it's going to be more kept important than the regular landscape. This will help when it morphs the landscape into the spline points. So how you start is you find your roads mesh that you're wanting to use. I'm going to go use my road module from Ghost Town Volume 6. And I'm going to left click, I uh, left control, and then left click. Holding control, left click again. And then again, and then again, and I'm going to kind of draw the road how I want it to be on the landscape. With this, go up here, left click segments, go down to the details, go over to spline meshes, click plus, click the drop down arrow, drag your road mesh into the spline mesh, and then let go. This is going to replace that green line with your road. So it scales up your mesh. For mine, it goes up exactly 0.6, so I'm going to lower it 0.4 to 0.4 on scale. So just scroll down under your spline mesh to scale. And then I set it to 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and then 0.4. It's as simple as that. If, you'll no if you look, you'll notice that the landscape actually moves with the road itself. Very helpful. So you might be wondering how to make turns. And you'll click your little, little segment right here. You'll left control, you'll click a little bit further ahead, and then you'll go to your meshes, find your crossroads module that you'll use, whatever mesh you're planning on using for it, and I'm going to use my T-shape. If I drop that in on the spline mesh point, it will replace this one with a control point. What I can do with this is I can rotate it backwards, and it'll automatically attach to the the closest point and that is facing towards the prior or the next spline point. From here, I can hold control and I can click somewhere else and boom, now we have a turn initiated. If I click the other, if I click the original control point and I can hold control and I click again, we have created a T-shaped turn. So you can use this to design your entire city if you want to. It works these green lines go all the way out and it flattens the landscape all the way out to this point. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of fixing on the landscape on the edges, but this is so much faster than using like a basic blueprint system for it. The cleanup is as simple as going into your trees and your paint, and you'll just delete the trees and stuff that's along your landscape. I, uh, that goes and connects with the road. It's as simple as that. Now you've got a whole road system that drives through your entire little forest here or designs your city. And we did it in just a few minutes. Fair warning, when you use these points do not easily connect together. So if I was to try and get these to connect together, to get these connected, you have to collect the location of one of them and paste it to the other one. And then you'll ha it's a matter of just rotating it to be in the proper spot. And it's as simple as that. Sometimes it, it does take a little bit more than that to get this. But all it is is really finagling and making sure your textures are actually seamless. So that way you don't have to worry about those issues. Oh, and sometimes you have to go into the materials and actually scale it to match properly. So this one seems fine. This one's a little small, so I would just have to go into the material and adjust it mesh. So that's how you go ahead and make roads. If you learned anything, I hope you hit the like button. If you, if you feel like it might help somebody, be sure to send it to them. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a good night.